the fuck is the number to 911? Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called What is poppin'? <laughs> Ugh, I sound like shit but what is poppin' Team King? You already know it's your girl King coming back at you with another motherfucking video. Guess what today we're doing? We're doing story time! Alright, I don't know why my voice sounds like this, but when I tell you I haven't been sniffing any cocaine, I haven't been sniffing any cocaine. So I don't know why there's so much stuff is going on right now. But let's get to this fucking story. Alright guys, alright, so I'm gonna tell y'all a story about how my roommate got food poisoning and I had to take her to the hospital because we had no other resort to what the fuck was going on. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, this story is pretty wild. Alright guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all what happened the night before so y'all understand what the hell's going on or whatever. So, my roommate comes in the room, asks me, yo, you trying to go to this party? Mind you, my roommate is always trying to fucking party and I was just like, meh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm not a fan of being in people's faces, so I really wasn't a party scene goer right now. At that moment, not really, because I was going through a breakup, so to be honest, I didn't want to do shit. Alright, so we get ready to go to this party. She tells me it's off campus. Uh, basically, we're going to somebody's house, and we about to be lit. I'm like, alright, cool, whatever, I need some litness in my life. Fast forwarding up a little bit, we get to the house. We get to the house, it's like me and like three, it's me, my roommate, and then like two other girls. So, the other two girls hold out while me and my roommate got the perks of them hoeing out. You know, liquor, weed, fun, you know, regular shit that we do. So we got enough liquor, we got enough weed in our system, I guess, or whatever, to the point where now, our homeboy, I, I fucking forgot, we met this guy named Matt. So we met this guy named Matt or whatever, and he was the one that was driving us from these places, right? So I'm I'm fucked up. Like I got my fucking orange juice container full with some type of clear alcohol and orange juice. So we drive up to my dorms now. He, I, well, I think he's parking the car. He's not parking the car. I open the door and I fall out the fucking car. <laughs> That's how drunk I freaking was. Like, he's in mid parking, and I'm opening the door trying to get out, and I just fall out the fucking car. So, basically, everybody's out the car now, and I'm just laying there on the floor trying to get up. So, we go to the girl's house that lives next door now. Go next door to get even more lit than what we were. So, she got some Becca. She got some just, some crazy ass liquor. So, what me and my roommate did, when I tell you she had the same exact thing as I did, she had the same exact thing as I did. When we're mixing, we're mixing everything, we're mixing vodkas, dark lights. We just got this big ass cup full of just mad shit. I'm feeling good, feeling nice, feeling suave. But earlier in the day, we had Chinese food. Long story short, that night ends, we, we fucked up, we stumbled back home, or whatever the case may be. Wake up the next morning, well not even the next morning, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. My roommate is fucking throwing up her life. I thought after a while she would not have shit to throw up left. So I'm just like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Why are you fucking hurling up shit like this? I thought I was going to be dead. Dead, y'all. Casket dead. I thought I, thought I was going to be dead. Because the way we was drinking, my nigga, I didn't, I don't know how I was able to survive, but... When I go out with anybody, I always drink the most and I'm the one that's walking home straight as shit and everybody else is dead on the side of the si sidewalk or something. I'm on FaceTime with my friend Tracy and my roommate is just like throwing up in the bathroom OD. She's like, Rumi, I can't do this no more. I can't do it. I feel like I'm dying. So she starts fucking like panicking and shit. Fucking like fake passes out. So I'm in fucking panic. Oh, like, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck do I do? So I'm just like sitting there on FaceTime. I'm sitting there like, Tracy, yo, what the fuck do I do? And yes, yes, I really did. I really did ask this question. I said to her, what the fuck is the number to 911? 
Yeah, I asked that question. Because, yo, all right, so we was all the way upstate. So in my mind, I'm not really thinking that the 911 is the same 911 from, from in my work in Herkimer. I'm just like, well, maybe it's a different, you know, 911 is safety for everywhere around the world, I think. Right, so in America it's 911, in New York it's 911. If anybody does not know that, so I'm like, yo, what the fuck is the number of 911? Tracy's just sitting there like, are you fucking serious? It's 911. I'm like, oh yeah, oh my god, oh my god. So did I fucking call 911, bro? Why the fuck the fucking fire department comes? Just, just mad extra shit just comes and the ambulance comes later. So the ambulance people, they come get her out of the bathroom or whatever. Everybody outside, everybody looking out their windows. Yo, is that Slim? Is that Slim, yo? Is that, is that so-and-so? Oh, what's going on, yo? You need me to? No, we don't need you to go anywhere. Thanks. So you know me, I'm kind of excited because I've never been in the ambulance before. I'm like, oh shit, we about to go on an ambulance ride. I'm fucking hyping it So I'm fucking geek. We about to get in this ambulance. So we get in. He's like, uh, he told me not to get in the back. He told me to get in the front. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm in the motherfucking front of a motherfucking ambulance. I felt like a goddamn G. Mind you, my roommate's just dying in the back. But that's all right, because we don't get into the hospital. All right? The hospital, fuck G. Let's not even say how far the hospital was. That shit was in a whole nother motherfucking town. All right? So we get to the hospital and shit. They have us waiting like always, you know, if you dying in the hospital. I mean, shit, I thought if you came in an ambulance, you'll get more treatment than anybody else. No. We sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. This bitch is fucking up chucking everything that fucking goes on her goddamn system. She's talking about she wants to crack as a motherfucking ginger. She don't know goddamn ginger. We sitting there and now waiting for a doctor to come see her. A doctor come check her out, tell her, you have alcohol poisoning. And I don't know if it was like a mixture of the Chinese food, but I don't know. But he said you have alcohol poisoning. I'm like, oh! <laughs> the reason why I was so upset is because I thought I had alcohol poisoning too, but I was absolutely fine. I was just fine. I was over exaggerated. I was being a little bit extra. I don't know what made her get alcohol poisoning slash food poisoning. I don't know what it was because we ate exactly the same thing and we drank exactly the same thing to the point to where we're almost sharing cups because we forgot whose cup is who. I was kind of worried and I was kind of scared. Like, oh shit, um, am I next? But I was fine. That's fine. A little hungover, but I was perfectly fine. The doctor says she's all right. She got to just get her her. I don't know what he said, her, like her, her electrolytes and shit back. She gotta just come back to life. So now it's time to fucking go home. How the fuck are we gonna get home? I thought that the ambulance people take you back home. I think they done picked you up. No. So now I'm stuck in a whole nother fucking town with my sick ass fucking roommate with no fucking money. <laughs> my nigga. I was so fucking mad, I call my mom, tell my mom this sad story, like, yo, ma, we stuck out here, we have no way to get back to our dorms, can you help me? Hold down a lot of shit. So, I was, I really didn't want to ask her, like, yo, ma, can I get more money, because you already didn't help me pay for, like, my groceries for the week, and then my smoking habits and the liquor that I bought. So, uh, I had no money to get home, and my roommate's parents, obviously, they didn't have the financial funds to get her daughter home safe. So I had to take that responsibility. And that's another reason why I fucking hate people is because they always look forward to for me to do something, for me to come through, and for me to say, bitch, you're the one that was fucking dying, and I gotta fucking get us home? I got us here! You can't fucking get us home, you can't make a fucking phone call, you can't suck some dick real Like, what the fuck? So I'm sitting there. Aggie has an attitude in, my, in the back of my mind. It's like, damn, I should just let this bitch fucking die in the bathroom. Cause now I'm gonna have to hear my mom's mouth, and I'm gonna have to fucking die when I see my mom. I'm annoyed. I'm in a taxi, cause the fucking taxi was like damn near fucking twenty to thirty fucking dollars. I'm sitting there like, fuck, 
Being a college student is the hardest thing that I have ever had to do in my life without working. That shit was so fucking tough. Anyway, guys, long story short, we made it back to the crib after my mom sent me some money, but I had to go get the money from fucking Walmart. So that was another charge on the fucking way home. My roommate, oh, thanks, roomie. You saved my life. Fucking make dinner for this bitch because she didn't know how to fucking cook. So, let's just, let me just tell you guys that my college experience was not the best experience that I would have thought it would have been. I have plenty more stories like this, and they do not get any better. They actually get much worse than this shit, okay? All in all, the story's ending is back to their normal state. She gets back to the crib. She fucking wants to smoke and do everything up under the sun, when not too long ago, this bitch was fucking dying. So guys, that is my short, kind of long college experience of my roommate having food slash alcohol poisoning and I had to take it to the ambulance, take it to the goddamn hospital. If you was feeling this story, make sure you guys give this video a big ass thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with your mom, your dad, share it with the guy at the corner store who King is. Let's get this channel rocking. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching these videos of me talking about my life, getting hit with King. I really appreciate it. If you're a new watcher, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for a new fucking video. Make sure you guys stay black.